I'll move me to the left. You the background. <laughs> oh, be nice. The right. There we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'm also going to. All right. Tab. Things are up. I need to. I'm gonna tweet this out. You do it after you start stream? No, we do it before, but I just came back from eating uh, brunch with my family, so <laughs> I just kind of ran out of time. Uh, norm normally, I try to be uh, 10 to 15 minutes earlier, but sometimes I'm like 5. Depends. Yeah. Let's see, my, my OBS pulled up on the other window. Okay. I need my OBS back on the window. That. Konbanwa san Buenos dias. How we say in Spanish, right? Yep. Buenos dias. <clears throat> Buenos dias. Special guest, you. I can finally say his name right. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's been a good month. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <clears throat> All right. Also, I like to prop up some music. Uh, let's see. As long as it's not copyrighted, I suppose. Yep. Oh yeah, for Xenon, um, it's uh, one in the morning for the guy. So, I hey, don't worry, Xenon. Uh, we're this the today's lesson is about an hour long. We're gonna be fo mainly focusing on vocabulary because I have my good friend here, Hugh, who can teach us proper pronunciations. So that is the focus for today. Yes, burritos. <clears throat> ah. Okay, so let's uh and the music of my choice uh who wait no uh he taught me how to pronounce it and it's uh no longer the Brazilian League of Legends Mordekaiser meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, good times, good times. Oh no. Uh let's see, so let's go with hmm. Uh Uh, uh, this is long enough, I think. I don't know if you can hear that. I um, believe no. No? Okay, there's no music coming from your end, right? It's just, I think it's just gonna be on stream. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh,. All right, I want to add this in my YouTube description. So music. It's uh, music by Lounge Music. You can find the video here. All right, and I generally have the music set very low. All right. So as begins today's uh, class. Uh, officially, as you can see on the, on the stream itself, uh, make sure I can correct that correctly. Okay, we're working on vocab vocabulary, and I see my camera is still doing the thing where it's super unfocused. So let's pull it back out a little bit here. It should f hopefully focus itself a little better as I do that. Okay, so let's um. So, uh, I'm using my textbook here, and chapter one is specifically for uh, uh, social media and communication. So that's where uh, this set of vocabulary is going to be coming from. I'm going to lower my... Okay, I don't want to actually lower my test audio too much, because since Quayway is here, I want everyone to hear him as well. So I'm going to lower my music a, lo a lot more. 
Now we can listen to Hugh. <clears throat> Alright, so first verb. I think it should be, yeah. I have my stream uh, camera way in. So this should now be visible. Can you read that, Hugh? Turn on my... No. Agregar? Agregar? Yeah. Agregar? Agregar. <clears throat> oh, um, I don't know if I'm like, yeah, I'm lagging, I think. Um, hopefully not too much. Um, agregar. Okay. Agregar, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, um, just need to make sure I can, actually, <laughs> I can do some, like, something real meta here, where I'm like, I full screen the Discord, uh, share, so I get to see my, sh my OPS through Discord, <laughs> instead of through <laughs> OPS. <laughs> Good evening, oh. Gambler Bear. Nice to you. Don't worry! Uh, I'm very not well versed in Spanish either, uh, Gambler Bear, so it's kind of why I'm doing this in the first place. Alright, so in brackets here, along with this, it tells me A, UN, OR. A, AMIGO, slash. Uh, and this is, um, I, the definition is to add, yes, no, yes, a friend. How does this look on stream? It fits, nice. So this oh, yeah. is, <laughs> um, what it means, and, um, so this, this is how you, you would say to your in Spanish, you want to add a friend like on Discord or Skype or any other social platforms, yeah? Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Oh, probably my favorite thing to do uh, back back in high school and grade school on, on the computer. Next word. Oh, I don't want it to. I'll, I'll skip a line. Make it look better. How would you pronounce that? Ah. Bajar. Bajar. Like that? Bajar. Bajar. Yeah, bajar. Bajar. To download. Everybody loves doing that. Yes. You used to do this all the time with YouTube videos. <laughs> I think <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm slowly meeting more and more people who actually still do this, and to an extreme extent, too. And, um... It's kind of funny, like, um, especially with the VTuber community, I know there are some people out there who uh, download and archive every VTuber video out there. And I'm like, you guys are crazy. In a good way. <laughs> oh, no. So, that's kind of cool. Kind of neat. Alright, so... Uh, by the way, for, for the audience, anyone watching, I do hope that as... You here is pronouncing things properly for us. I hope you're following along with pronunciation. That's the biggest thing about this, about vocabulary and practicing it out, out loud. It's to get your brain to like have that extra way of remembering. So it's okay to like write it out and understand what it means, but it's another thing to also say it and hear it. All right, so bahar to download. Next, we have another B word. Man, what? Why you gotta remind me of Kaoru? <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too soon, dude. T too soon. Um, I think I, I I'm not gonna ban it. I know they banned on on their streams. Uh, because uh, it, it's better for all parties to move on. But I'm not gonna ban it. So if you need to express your sadness of uh, <laughs> Kaoru here, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> this is a, this is an open yeah, it's fine, stream. But... Yeah, it's okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay. So next word, borrar. Borrar. Yes. Borrar. Okay. Borrar. borrar. Just like quickly. Borrar. borrar. Okay. Borrar. Borrar. Yeah. Borrar. 
to erase. Just to delete. Or to delete? To... Okay, to delete. Oh, I'll do, I'll, 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 Yay. To... Yeah. Oh, my lead. To erase slash To delete. So, um, I, I know, um, my textbook here says to erase, and you say it's to e to delete. Um, is there any specific connotations here, or is it just simply to erase anything, to delete anything? Uh, I guess it's, it's based on, uh, the situation. Hmm. Okay, um, so, if I were to say I want to erase my, my my print here, where I use the verb borrowed. Yes. Okay, okay. And like so, what? Like... Yes? Okay, so if uh, you want to delete something on your phone, that's to delete. Okay. But if you were to erase something on, like, you know, the notepad you're writing on, that's to erase. So it's like a double meaning, I suppose. Okay. Depending on the situation. Right, but in 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 this case, this is one. There's just like that one word that can just simply mean two two things. They're used yes. and understood properly in their specific context. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Perfectly fine. I think English has. I think every language has words like those where, um, based on the context, its its meaning, although ultimately is understood. It can mean different things. Yes. Alright. Yes, okay. Cool. We have three out of like the several words here um, done. So that's um, really cool. And you're already, you're already expanding on my textbook here. Uh, you're already giving me way more knowledge than I could have just reading off my textbook. Uh, gambler bear pronunciation is Bahar, right? Yeah, Bahar. Yes! Alright. Not to get too off track, but I learned that uh, someone in the Iron Lions uses 0.3 millimeter lead pencils. I'm like, I'm already smashing through lead with 0.5 millimeters. I can't even imagine. Point, using point three. All right, our next verb is our first C verb. CH verb, I guess. <clears throat> Chatear. 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 Sounds wrong. I feel like I'm processing it wrong. Did you say it again? I... Okay. <clears throat> Chatier. Chatier. Okay. Chatier. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. Close, close. Ah. Ah, 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 The accent. Uh. The accent helps, I guess. Chat. Chatier. Yeah, yeah. Chatier. Uh -huh. Chatier. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's um. I have to lose the idea of melding vowels together. Um, it's something that uh, Canadian English in particular does a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's something I learned that is actually not that common in British English, where they do not uh, meld um, vowels in proximity together as, um, as, as, as Canadians do. Uh, we use diphthongs constantly is, is what it's called when you combine when you combine two ver, ver, vowels and pronounce in one go whereas the british english they actually um prefer uh, when speaking it they, they have a preference of not doing that ideally but they they can still do it <clears throat> oh. yeah <laughs> it's like um it's like a you know the english word i for eyeball or i as an i um, that is a diphthong because you start with the a ah sound, but you end in the i sound. I. Mm. That's that's known as a diphthong because you start with one vowel, but you end in a different vowel, and but you don't ever pronounce them separately. It's just one pronunciation. Uh, understandable. Mm hmm. And in, in Canadian English, boy oh boy, do we love our diphthongs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna need some more practice. Let's do 
Chatear. 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 Okay. Very nice. Very nice. And this means to to chat. Basically, yeah. To okay. chat, to talk. To talk, to chat, to talk. And this is like a general to chat, to talk. Yes. Yes. Okay, because I know in my textbook it specifically in brackets say state online. Uh, that's not necessarily the case, but okay. I suppose, yeah. And I guess within context of this being uh, social media and, and talking online, um, I guess it's, in brackets it's more of an example thing than it is a specification thing. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so chat, that, that the app is just a verb, just have a talk, a chat, uh, in general. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Our, this is easy to remember. A spelling error? And chat the other contains the English word chat. Ah, okay. I get you, I get you. Uh, we covered over that, right? They're, those verb, or those kind of words are known as um, uh, cognates. Yes, we went over that in a previous episode. Cognates. Ch I guess, uh, Gamma Bear, just remember it's chatiar. So remember it's uh, where the break in pronunciation is for each syllable is. Instead of English is a uh, chat. Close, not quite. Specifically for pronunciations, though. Spelling wise, it's not. Spelling was actually really easy to remember for English speakers, in my opinion, because it's just combining the word chat and ear together. But mm. that's me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh, I, li I like this verb. And I hope my print is legible, by the way. I'm always worried about that, like, I don't want to accidentally write very quickly and people can't read what I'm writing. Let's see... Is that... Conectarse con? Should be, yeah. Conectarse con. Yes, conectarse okay. con. Buenos dias, Yami! Uh, como estas? Let's see, we went over this. Um... Soy bien, soy bien. Uh, ¿Y tú? <clears throat> Alright. So you pronounce this as conectarse con? Yes, okay. conectarse con. It's, and this means to connect up with. Is there any other meanings? Mm. See. No, it's. I think it's pretty accurate. Okay, to connect up with. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, is it like in the context of to just like. Uh, um, how would I word this in English? Because um, I, I get the idea. It's like trying to communicate with friends on a specific social media platform usually or um maybe to connect up with or to contact to contact there you go to contact it's like um yes. like talking to people on I, I i don't know what do people use uh whatsapp that's something people use F facebook messenger <laughs> twitter i guess instagram mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yeah so it's like go, go on those and be like hey it's been a while friend or something like that yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, having you here to, to like help explain or confirm these speculations is wonderful because knowing a word and what it means can only get you so far. Once you throw in context, you can start understanding how and where to use them. Did I'm not even going to try pronouncing this yet. Write it all out first.
difundir 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 Dif difundir ok difundir difundir it says here to disseminate I don't even know what that means in English <laughs> wait what <laughs> pardon to disseminate what the hell what what does this word mean oh my god SMH. um let's see it could either be oh, this... <laughs> the textbook description is just throwing me off so much <laughs> i'm like looking at it i'm like i don't even know what this word means in english let it alone spanish <laughs> Oh my god, um, it's basically, oh fuck, it depends on the context too. Yeah. Uh, okay, to spread information, uh, or mm, spread yeah, something widely. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at Google here. I need Google's help for this. I don't use the word disseminate in my life, so... <laughs> disseminate. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What? What in the world? When in the world am I gonna use the word disseminate in in any conversation? <laughs> hey, look! <laughs> I I disseminated. <laughs> I, I don't even know. When would you disseminate? <laughs> it's such what a, in the world? It's such a weird word to use. Don't even disseminate. Okay, I'm. I'm... <laughs> We're, we're, this is leaving my 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 uh, notebook here. It's not staying. I'm I'm using its, uh, I'm using its yeah. definition to spread just to spread mm, oh, information. Infor well, most likely information. Yeah, this is something, especially information, widely. Yeah. To disseminate, please. We don't need that kind of vocabulary here. <laughs> disseminate. <laughs> I can't get over that. Oh my god. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this textbook... It has like such easy words and then it throws into disseminate. I'm like... What? <laughs> what? Do, is this supposed to be widely used? Like... I don't think so. I've never heard people use this word before. Wait. Yeah. Usage over time actually increased back in 2010. That's weird. <laughs> Part. That's Part. weird. Uh, That's very weird. I don't I've think I've actually I... never. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Never think... heard that before. I've never heard people use this word before. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You disseminate. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. En enough of that. Let's uh, let's get over the weirdness of this. All right. Before we can move yeah. on. Uh, difundir. Right? Yes, difundir. Difundir. Okay. Yes, I guess yes. uh yeah, I I need to reduce the the uh, uh how much I'm enunciating the R at the end. Difundir. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I knew it sounded Don't a little put wrong. too much focus on the R. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh I think the the R rolling is more of a Max, that kind of thing. I see, I see. Sometimes, yeah. Let me move this a little like that so everyone can see everything properly. Perfect. Uh, let me see. What is oh my god, said <laughs> oh. What? What? He says, what, what I, happened? I disseminated the peanut butter onto the sliced bread. Oh my <laughs> god. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. I'm losing it. <sighs> this is the best class I've ever held in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, okay. Um, let's see. Is that an eye? Uh, I, I, ooh, yeah, it's, it's, I see it's blurring. Let me see if I can fix the camera. Okay. Here. If okay, if that's an I, it's etiqueta. Etiqueta. Yes, etiqueta. 
Eti et <laughs> etiquetar. <laughs> etiquetar. Okay. Etiquetar. Etiquetar. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write down the uh, textbook de- uh, definition, and then you tell me if it's spot on or what needs to be changed. It says here to tag. Uh, yeah, that's pretty accurate, yeah. Okay, it says to tag and in, fa- in brackets, uh, like, on Facebook, for example. Or you can tag someone on Instagram, like that? Um, I mean, that would be more of a slang term, but I suppose, yeah. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> like, etiquetar would be to, like, you know, like, put a price tag or something. Oh, okay. To tag, yeah. so, like, I- I'll put in pra- brackets or- here, like, price tag type deal. I mean, I, I suppose you could use it to, like, you know, Facebook, blah, 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 Twitter. But, uh, the Spanish, uh, slang, it evolves, like, every day. They find, like, new words to <laughs> replace others. It's confusing sometimes. That's fair. I mean, in English, we kind of have that, too, with, um, you know, with the more, the, 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 the latest trend of saying yeet to throw. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Um, at this point, that's kind of what I associate uh, yeet with, which is to throw. I know pe- some people <laughs> uh, who are more, I-, I suppose, cultured than me would prefer to say that, oh no, it has a new meaning now. And I'm like, okay, sure. I don't know that new meaning. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, <laughs> it's actually something um, I-, I looked into in social linguistics, where uh, we looked at um, how language is used and is evolving in society. So, mm-hmm. uh, big thing is just go into a random cafe and listen, just listen, and just listen to people. So it, it sounds like we're eavesdropping. We are, we are eavesdropping. But the issue, but the thing yeah. is, we're in the public space. So what you say is fair game there. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> that's kind of how we pull information as social at, uh, in in sociolinguistics. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It really is getting to hear different people, uh, how they speak, uh, and words they say. And that's kind of why I'm. I, I have. I, I never want to go go downtown in Toronto, <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh, I, I can do without learning all of that lingo they use down there. I'll be perfectly honest. Um, oh yeah. Holy! If it, I, I don't even want to remember the things I've heard down there. <laughs> oh boy. But uh, they. I think the weirdest thing I've learned in, my, in a classroom setting wasn't even from sociolinguistics. It was just. Um, we were talking about how um, people uh, have different slangs. So I guess what the people in the world, one of the most uh, famous locations in Canada is Toronto, since it's like a major city with a home to our international airport as well. Um, mm-hmm. We have locals that pronounce Toronto. Listen to me, Toronto as Trana. Uh <laughs> Trana. Trana. I'm and I'm like trying to wrap my head around that. I get it now. Like I get it. They simply say Trana. I don't yeah. ever want to use that word in an actual sentence in my life. Yeah, I think I I saw a video on that earlier, but Yote, past tense of yeet. <laughs> learning new things every day. I'm okay with learning stuff like that though. Yote. I don't think I've ever heard anyone use that yote though. Yote. Alright, so Not yeah. Nice. It it yeah, etiqueta to tag it, something. Yeah, it doesn't have to be Facebook or anything for social media. That's more of a slang, no. but yeah, to tag. Um oh uh, now that I'm curious. Um how would would you would it be possible to use etiqueta to say you tag someone in a game of tag? Uh, a game of tag. Uh, I don't think it could be used in that setting. Okay, so we can. So it's uh, it's more. That's more of a specific to English type way of using the word tag here because it's, you know yeah. name of the game and what you do in the game. So I was just curious if that translated over. I. I can see it not, so that's why I want I wanted to know. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. So next on the list we have 
All right, so this is uh, a special vocabulary here, which I'm gonna ask you what this verb means, and then I'll finish it with what's in the textbook. But first things first. What does this word mean? Uh, mandar. Mandar. And the meaning? Basically, to send. To send. send. Yeah, like, to send a message, to send a package. Alright, so I'm going to say to send. Because yeah. in, um, in the textbook, it actually says as, it's, it's a phrase, it's, uh, it says, mandar un tweet. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> to send. Mandar un tweet. And it says, send a tweet. Yeah, it says, as in English, to tweet. Yes. Tweet. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, Tsubasa's so gone. Post cucumbers, chat. Post cucumbers. That's broccoli. That's not a cucumber. Hey. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Does un mean a uh, and an? Mm -hmm. Yes. Depending on its use, it can, yeah, it can be one or the other. So let's say like mm, un cucumber. Basically like a cucumber. And then for the use and Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh my uh I got called by my dad. Oh my goodness, pickles. <coughs> uh pickles. Uh I just looked at chat and I just see pickles. Hola, Senpai of Crime! <laughs> Buenos dias. Oh my god. <clears throat> th th those are pickles, right? Uh, I think it looks... Uh, now that I think about it, it might be a cucumber. Yeah, that's a cucumber. Okay. Does un mean like a and not? Time to abuse this chat. Stop! <laughs> Stop! We don't need this. We don't need this abuse. Alright, um... <clears throat> It's not necessary. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so back back to mandar. It's just to send in particular. So is it like uh, you can use this to like say you sent you sent mail? Mandar, yes, to send. Okay. It can be used uh, for basically anything. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Like uh, like cuando vas a mandar el dinero? Mm. Basically, when are you gonna send the money? Hmm. So you can use it for everything, basically. Okay, so it's, my daughter is just the verb to send. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Me desperte casi ahora y mi pelo es de loco. I don't know what that means. Uh, what was it say? I'm looking at me. Desperé, me desperté casi ahora y mi pelo está loco. <laughs> he said, uh, well, they said that, uh, that they just woke up, and uh, their their hair is uh, kind of crazy right now. Ah, okay, so pillow is hair. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to remember uh, certain specific random words I've learned in the past, so putting two and two into together. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I actually closed off my entire Chrome, so let me just put everything back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. 
All right, perfect. It didn't take that long. I'm, I'm happy like browsers these days have the Control Shift T option, which is to bring back any tabs you closed for Windows. Mm. It's very very useful. Did you just have a uh, Are you winning, son? Moment. <laughs> I had a. Uh, I... <laughs> I, I had to accidentally <laughs> click the wrong place because I'm with using two monitors. My mouse, I'm not used to moving my mouse between monitors, so sometimes uh, mm. my mouse hovers over the uh, um, the close button at the top of the bar on my main on my main window or my main monitor uh, when I'm trying to move between the two. And then I click, and suddenly, oh no! I close my main my, my window on my main monitor. I'm like, shoot! Gotta go back. <laughs> And it's something you get used to because I've I come from using void monitor for like ninety percent of my life. So, uh, what, uh, you know what doesn't help is actually um, for a time uh, I, while using my laptop, I would connect a, a spare monitor to my laptop. But then because of the way my setup was, I had to move my mouse to the right side of the screen in order to appear on my left monitor, and then vice versa. So I got used oh. to that for a while. And now that I have a proper du dual monitor setup, <laughs> it gets awkward. Um, gets really oh awkward for me. Gosh. All right, let's... I would never be able to use that. <laughs> I get I get um accustomed to weird things pretty quickly. I find. Oh, interesting. Uh, don't really know what I'm writing here, actually. This just seems like a bunch of letters to me. Maybe you can tell me what this is. Uh, Soler? Soler? Okay. This is to be used in uh, communication? Like... Social media? The... Uh definition in the textbook is to be in the habit of um, is that accurate uh, let me think seems like a long definition for what kind of for what kind of word this is on Google Chrome it's telling me to usually do hmm Yeah, this it's a difficult uh Okay. Uh let's then let's take a break off this word. Senpai of Crime is asking, how do you say mashed potatoes in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> mashed potatoes in yes. Spanish. Huh. Let me think, because my mom, she, uh, she uses a mix of English and Spanish. So I don't even I don't even think I've ever heard her say mashed potatoes in Spanish. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, because uh, he's mainly asking because he asked me that the other uh, the other class, and we went through a whole debacle of how to pronounce it or how to say it because there's different ways of saying it depending on where you are. Yeah, it depends on where you're from. Yeah, so let me quickly show this. So I tried going through word by word. So potatoes, you have papas or patatas. And then apparently in one way to say it, you can say el, pur el puré de patatas or papas. That's one way of saying it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zeno, the only important word in the Spanish language, mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> El puré de mash what? El puré de patatas. Yeah. None? 
Yeah. I forget uh, which location uses this uh, message. Or love of Mahaba. Yeah, no, my mom just says mashed potatoes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she she doesn't she doesn't say anything like el puré de papas, patatas, or la papa majada. No, just mashed potatoes. <sighs> patatas con queso sounds tasty. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. It uh, does. All right, let's consult word typo quickly here. Ah, uh, Papa Mahala is how we say it in Puerto Rico. Oh, okay, gotcha. Papa Mahala is okay. The, the, pretty much, I think with uh, words like these, I I, I, I kind of get the feeling it's going to change based on your, based on uh, who you're next to. Like with re mm -hmm. Puerto Rico being uh, part of the States, you'll have its own pronunciation. Uh, Mexico being uh, south of the states will have their own pronunciation, and Spanish being in the EU will have their own pronunciation as well. Mm -hmm. Spain, oh, Spain. I, I I just caught myself saying Spanish in the in, in the EU. No, Spain in the EU. it's next to EU. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm losing my mind here. Okay, okay, so. Uh, I'm just gonna say Soler uh, to be in the habit of, since that's the textbook de uh, definition. And I think we can just go with this definition until someone who knows what it actually means in its proper context can correct us. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I've, uh, I've ever used that. Yeah, it's. I think it just comes with the fact that it being like a textbook. Uh, the frequency of certain words probably isn't gonna be, uh, isn't gonna be there. It's like in English to disseminate. Who uses to disseminate? <laughs> I want to meet these people. Who, who, <laughs> who, 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 who is that person out there who was like, yeah, I use the word disseminate every day. I don't, I, I, I don't know these people. I've never met these people. I don't think I'm ever gonna meet these people either. But I would like to. I would like to know what kind of life you've you've lived where you can use the word to disseminate, like I use the word to spread whatever. Hold on, Tsubasa Sensei. I have to go disseminate some <laughs> cheese on my potatoes. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. This is I, I I don't I don't know I'm really hung up on that because it's legit a word I have never used in English and I've used English for like 20 years of my life now, so mm -hmm. I've never heard any, like I must have forgotten this back when when I was learning Spanish several years ago, but I just it baffles my mind that this is a word in English that can be that people use. Sue Beard. I'm assuming uh, the way I pronounce it. Sue Beard, yeah. Sue Beard. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Alright, uh. Oops. I just need to make sure I'll So, Sue Beard. Alright. So upload or to. Okay, yeah, that's why I have here on my textbook too to upload. Or to put up. To up. Load or to put up. Yes. So like to put up uh, uh, a picture, like a picture yes, frame. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. A simple verb. I'm assuming something could use relatively often as well. Then, if it also means to put up. Very often. Okay, cool. Subir. Subir. Oh. Yeah? Hold on. Uh, oh, no, never mind. Okay, never mind. She's got it. She's got it. Okay, cool. Is that probably the person that wrote the textbook? Probably. I mean, I just... This person who wrote this, the author, couldn't he just said to spread something 
usually information widely. Like, I think it could have used a different word and people would understand that instantly. But maybe I'm the uncultured. Maybe I'm the uncultured one here. Maybe I'm the one that's that needs to read more books. Maybe, maybe that's what's going <laughs> on. Maybe maybe I'm the one that's like, oh, clearly this is like one of those words used in novels often. But I've never I've never read that word outside of this textbook, so I'm not gonna yeah. deny that it's possibly a word that's used often in, in stories and other te- forms of text. But geez, Louise. Aren't educational textbooks usually, uh, what was it? how do you say, usually have some pages written by college students? Uh, I actually don't I believe if, know. Um, I believe I heard that from a professor once. Maybe. Uh, I think uh, if they are written, they should have some sort of reference, like... Uh, they should be quoted in there as, as having contributed to the uh, textbook. But being uh, being the type of textbook this is, I don't see the see it anywhere listed. And because you have like they have like all the editors, the managers. Uh, there's a lot of editors for this textbook. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Associates, you have the president, yeah, you, like, I have a lot of people that worked on this book, so. Probably not, like, everyone looking through this, like, the same pages, but definitely, like, different sections of the, of the textbook. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if you see the word disseminate in a novel, you must be in the wrong aisle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah, no, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. I wholeheartedly agree. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, so. Yep, yeah, next uh, verb. In so your first part. Unirse. Uh-huh. Unirse, okay. Unirse. U- unirse? Yeah, unirse. Unirse, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I have here, it means to join. Basically, yes. I'm assuming this is what you'll say uh, when you want to go join a, a club at school or something, yeah? Yeah, it's a join or it's a group up. A group up, that uh, too. <clears throat> to group up, so like group projects and stuff too, right? Mm-hmm. This is the one issue with like these these r- ring binder, uh, like notebooks with the rings. I my print goes goes out of the window when I have my hand over them. Ah, uh, yeah, I know the struggle. Okay. <clears throat> Unirse. Uh, so is it unirse a? Is it like the like a yeah, phrase by itself like that? A. Unirse a. Okay. Yeah. It's to join to group up, uh, group projects to join a group, um, um, to join to join a Discord even. Uh, <laughs> I suppose yes. Okay. But uh, that's mm, I don't know why the a is there though. I, I mean, it doesn't say anything, so I could I could remove it. U- just when you say Yeah, I think removing the, the ah yeah. is appropriate. I'm actually going to also throw in a question mark here. Is uh, this is a yeah, interesting so interesting verb? Question questionable questionable. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got through our set of verbs, which is nice. Um, so let's go from the top and try pronouncing everything once again. Mm-hmm. We have uh, agregar. Yes, agregar. agregar to add. Um, bajar to download. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know really. I just remembered. I actually have a uh, classmate. Her name's Bahar. 
Her name is Bahar? Oh yeah, my God. her name's Bahar. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? She's she's Holy. not she's not Spanish by any means. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That makes so, sense. So I was it, like, her fam her parents didn't name her to download. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what kind of parent would? Oh my God. Here's the thing, though. Uh, it's spelt like that, though. Really? It's spelled like that and pronounced like that. Bahar. Um, but her, 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 her family background is not from Spain, Mexico, or, or anywhere that's Spanish-speaking. Hmm. Well, <laughs> it must mean something else. It must, but I just find it really funny how it has the same spelling and same pronunciation, just not the same <laughs> history. A completely different history. Oh, boy. And then, alright, next, uh, borrar. Borrar. Mm -hmm. Borrar, okay, to erase, to delete. Yep. Trying to make sure. I'm trying to see if. Uh, I'm trying to, like, uh, turn on my lamp, but that doesn't help with the. That, that makes the focus even worse, so. <laughs> yeah. I need to figure out this, maybe a new situation with my camera. I don't know. I have it, like, my setup is really interesting. But I'll just say with how I'm doing this, but it works, so I'm just gonna keep it for now. My my real only issue is the fact that it's constantly refocusing. I don't know, and there's no like no not autofocus option on it, so it just constantly autofocuses. Unfortunate. All right. <laughs> chat chat chatier. 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 Tiar. Chatier. Okay. Chatier. Chat yeah. Oh, to yeah. chat, talk. Is and by to chat, it's me. It is it to have a chat. Is it like that or or no? Mm, have a chat. Like I want to have a chat with you, like that kind, of, or I want to have a talk with you, something like that, or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Like vamos a chat here. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. I, I, yeah, that makes sense in my head too. Okay, uh, and then after we have uh, co conectarse, conectarse con. Mm -hmm. conectarse con. Yes. Nice, conectarse con. To connect up with. <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful. Uh, let's see. Uh, difundir. D -d difundir? Yes, difundir. Difundir, okay. I, I gotta practice. Um, Basically, cutting off my pronunciation uh, uh, of the R at the end there. If we do. Okay. Um, and that's to spread uh, to spread inf information widely, or just spread something widely. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, etiquetar. Uh, et etiquetar. I think. Etiquetar. Uh -huh. Etiquetar. Okay. And that's just to tag something like a, a price tag, or with sl you uh, used as a slang word. Uh, you can tag someone on Facebook or Twitter or something like that. Okay, I should probably also um make a, as a note. This is slang. And then let's see. And then we have uh mandar uh, to send mandar. Yeah, mandar. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. To mandar. send, and it can be to send anything. It doesn't have to be a tweet. So I'll, I'll throw that in brackets here, so we know it's not like specifically a phrase or anything. It's just uh, an example. Mandar, and then we'll skip solar because we're not, we're not too sure. It, uh, anyone who wants to try using that verb um, with someone, you can. Uh, to be in the habit of, apparently. So, uh, it's there as an option. Uh, ah, and then we have uh, uh, subir, subir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's to upload, to put up. Uh, yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, and then finally we have unir, uh, unirse. Yes, unirse. Oh. Unirse. To join, to group up, to. to to join someone in a voice call, to join someone for dinner, to join someone for a party, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. Alright, cool, cool. What's funny is that uh, 
it's been about almost an hour, and we just went through verbs. But <laughs> it do be like that. But that this That's is language. Yes. This is language. This is how language is. It's, it's also why every time I am in a language club class, the teacher's always like, um, "What they tell you, what that you go through in class is only the beginning. The main bulk of it is you practicing on your own." Basically, yes. Yeah, you gotta find time out of the classroom to practice it, otherwise it's not gonna stick. Mm -hmm. Uh... Okay, um, I actually don't know what this Spanish word means in English, because it's even it's the, uh... Is this nouns? Sustantivos? What does this word mean? It's a category in, in the list of ver in, in the in the list here of vocabulary. Sustantivos. Yeah, sustantivos. Is that like nouns? I believe so. No, wait. Uh, it's too early. <laughs> it's too early. Okay, I'm looking at Google Translate here. It's, apparently, it can be used uh, for to mean nouns. That's an interesting word for nouns. Put that in brackets here. Nouns. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, j just to make sure we're good on time. How much time do you, are you able to stay uh, still, by the way? Um, good for another, like, 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's quickly go through our nouns and we'll call it for the stream. Because there is a lot of nouns here. <laughs> but hopefully, it, <laughs> they won't need as many explanations as the verbs. <laughs> Alright, so we have... This as our first one. <laughs> El Buzon. Oh, yes. El Buzon. El Buzon, is that, is that how you pronounce this? Yeah. Okay. El Buzon. And here I have the definition mailbox. Correct. Alright. I don't think you'll ever uh, hear someone use that, but yeah. Oh, really? It, what's the more commonly used uh, word for mailbox then? Mm, no, I mean like. <laughs> oh, no like one uses that... mailboxes anymore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Basically. I see. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I guess I can I, I also don't use the word mailbox much anymore. I just say I'm going I'm going to just grab the mail. Yeah, yeah. El circulo? El circulo. 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 El circulo. Cir yeah, circulo. Circulo. Okay. And it's a circle. This is just a shape, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. This a shape. This circle. Uh, the true underscore DV. Buenos dias. Um, uh, one amigo. One amigo? Mi amigo. Mi amigo. Mi amigo. There you go. Mi amigo. <laughs> <laughs> Took a couple tries, got there. Right at the end, lol. Mailboxes still exist, don't they just put, get put through that slot in the door? Uh, that depends on the country. I still- my house, um, or my neighborhood still uses mailboxes. Um, I know some countries have, uh, that, uh, mail slot that they have on the door. And then other- and then other places that are older have individual mailboxes. Like, my mailbox is, like, a community-style mailbox, so it's, like, by- uh, by the street, um, or by sections of, of where you live, you'll have a, uh, a combined mailbox with other people, where you have, like, a key, uh, yeah, you have a key for, like, yeah. a, a little cubby style. Uh, yeah, we, we have those too. Yeah, I, I know cer certain parts of, I think, Britain still uses uh, individual mailboxes with, like, the flag thing that you lift up. 
Um, no, to, I, to... I wouldn't. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so those they still exist. I've seen them before, but it's yeah. very old and I, I usually not used. And then I know, depending on who you're buying from, some carriers just simply leave the, your packages at the door. So sometimes, <laughs> yeah, just defeats the purpose. <laughs> Screw the mailbox altogether. Here, here's your package at your door. <laughs> uh, okay. Mailbox circle. Ooh, everyone should know us. Uh, or everyone should uh have an idea, have an idea of like or have have used this I should say. La. Con. Tra. Senia. Contraseña? La contraseña. Uh -huh. La contraseña. Uh, here I have it, says, it means password. Yes. Which my dad forgets every day. It, so I, I know um, with technology, with like, technology being able to save your passwords and everything, people start to mm -hmm. not, not remembering. My dad always complains to me about that because uh, he also has like. <laughs> he, he, he has like um, this thing, this thing where because. He's from my previous era, so he has a, a whole mm -hmm. notebook full of documented passwords for different things, and even for like telephone numbers and stuff. Where like nowadays we you just save as a contact and you can use it that way. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I know my dad always complains about how uh, kids these days aren't going to remember anything because you all use uh, technology to help you remember things for you and yeah, stuff like no. that. Um, I mean, he's not he's not wrong i only started started uh doing things uh remembering my passwords more and more as i started typing them out manually instead of constantly using the autofills <laughs> uh yeah this is why i'm actually happy i'm not using facebook anymore like i don't know about people but i don't use facebook i have an account still to make sure i have the account but uh i don't use it but back when i used it oh boy i went through maybe 60 16 different passwords in, in like the span of a year just because I couldn't remember it, and it kept, and I could, oh, okay. and it just, it just didn't work. And I had to make a new one every single time. And every single time I type in a, a new password, it's like, oh, you use that password. I'm like, when? I'm like, I was so <laughs> mad. I was like, when? Um, oh, everyone's favorite kind of mail. L. Correo. Use a password manager. Uh, my dad's too much of a caveman to use something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a little. That prints a little bad. Let me try to bolden it. Oh, yeah, Correo. El Correo Basura? Yeah, El Correo Basura. El Correo Basura, and I have spam as what this means. Basically junk mail. Or... <laughs> Literal translation, trash mail. Ah. I see, I see. That makes sense. The literal translation... Pretty, pr pretty accurate, I, I, I must say. Junk mail. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but uh, with my numerous amount of emails that I use on a daily basis, my main email has so much junk mail on it, it's ridiculous. <laughs> that's because it's my main, quote unquote, main email that, where I like use, do, I do everything I, I, I could care less about using that one. And then I have like the more important stuff on like after my other emails. So it's like. I, I had to make more emails as a way to filter filter different things. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if other people do it like that too, but I find that to be most efficient than just setting up different inboxes. Okay, next one is La. I want to say Quenta. La Quenta. La Quenta? <laughs> La cuenta. La cuenta. Yeah, la cuenta. Here, my definition here is account. Yes, correct. Okay, nice. Gambler bear. Uh, 
Pardon me for this question. What is the difference between L and La? They're the uh, class um, class one, class two uh, art, uh, uh, definite article, which in English simply means the. L is for class one, which I believe uh, Hugh, you'll know it more as it uh, no, it's more commonly known as masculine, whereas La is for uh, feminine, which is class two. Mm -hmm. I know I, I I've decided to uh, when when doing language classes I call them class one class two because I'm a linguistics student and we are taught that uh, masculine feminine and neuter is just simply a classification system for language and uh, many people have issues with this because of the sexual connotations with the words the English words themselves so um, it's simply class one class two class three for linguistics students and it's used very frequently especially when talking about uh, the many different languages throughout the world. Yeah. Uh, but, um, if it's a, an informal thing, then you just use whatever. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, the true underscore DV. That's kind of backwards. I register to everything with a waste email, which I literally never check, and my main email is nice and filtered. Uh, I mean, it's, it's for different stuff. Like, I have a school email, I have a work email, I have a... Uh, email one, email two type deal, and then uh, email one uh, has basically everything. So usually my games, spam, trash. Uh, it's because there's just stuff I don't generally check. Like I don't have to check, but some things I I will check there. And then I have a second email for like uh, a like a backup type purpose. So in case it's like uh, maybe. That I feel I feel has a slightly more importance. I'll throw it down in my second email instead, and if it's junk, it's junk. But there's less of it there. And then I have a random hotmail. I have a random Yahoo. That's how I do my emails. Okay. Oh. All right. So La Cuenta as account we have L. Fifteen different emails. <laughs> <laughs> I used the sell game accounts, so mm, yeah, that makes sense too. Using it for different game accounts. Uh, so L on N Lasse. N Lasse? How you? How would you pronounce that? Hold on, let me see the spelling. Hmm. It's a little. The E's a little. Super blurred on the camera, let me bold it. El enlace. El enlace. I have it here, say to link, or just link. Wait, could you repeat that, please? El enlace? Mm -hmm. Link. To what? To link? I don't even think it means to link, it just says link. A link. The link. <sighs> How would you normally use this word? Ha, ah, that's... I don't think... <laughs> it's not used? I don't think, uh... No, it's not used. We usually just use the, the literal, like, English, uh... English... English <sighs> word for it. Not again! Every time I'm trying to tab in, tab out... Just killing off my entire window. But yeah, that's that's basically the definition. But... Okay, okay, fair. But yeah, like here we we just say dame el link. Mm. You know. Yeah. Here, uh, I because I'm also using like uh, Google Translate to see, but it's like uh, it just means the link. But mm. I mean, I think you you could use it for like uh, you know if you're connecting cables and shit. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, fair, fair. I'll just have rarely used in brackets here. Um, I'm trying to think from like a social media standpoint. What do you mean by the link? Because hmm. usually when you say link, it's an action, it's a verb. The link. The link. Interesting. I haven't thought of using link as a noun here for in a social media context all right next one is l uh 
familiar, familiar, familiar. El familiar. El, el familiar, familiar, mm. familiar. It's familiar, I think. Familiar. Familia. I have a family member as a definition here. I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking like this could be used in like a Steam context, and yeah, with like the whole Steam share and whatnot. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see the true DV. That's something that I've noticed a lot recently. A lot of foreign languages tend to just use the English word for some things, like credit card, even though both the words credit and card has no meaning in the language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what happens when you have uh, the internet, like, basically easy access to um, uh, have cross-language uh, interaction. Think of language to begin with. Why is language, how does language get created and why? Um, I think the easiest thing to think about is um, the history of language. And, like, an example would be um, the Franks. Um, you have the fr both French and... I believe Germany and German w used to be one language. They were like they they, they originated from one language, they, but they broke in half. Why? Well, there was a divide in the country way back. That be and so they separated into two different uh, two different uh, groups of people. And then eventually, because they kept talking, because connect they, they divided, they stopped communicating with each other. And as time progressed, their language developed us uh, on their own, even though they're so close together. And they became uh, different. They couldn't understand each other after that point. Like in, in the sense that they're speaking the same language because they they weren't anymore. It's it's basically the opposite of how of how that is nowadays with languages being able to cross communicate constantly, being able to travel from 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 place to place in the world through airplanes um, very quickly means constant cross communications. You're gonna have. A language pick up other words from other languages consistently because of that, and that's just how languages work. So it's not—it's definitely not uncommon. We've had that throughout history too. I think the funniest thing in the world is if you speak to any linguist about our about um, do we call them our ancestors? Uh, uh, but basically the forefounders of uh, of linguistics. A lot of linguistic terminologies. And, and especially science, actually, the sciences have it way more. Where, um, well, I think science makes sense since it was um, the, the sciences uh, originated around your, the European area. But uh, specifically, the uh, in linguistics, a lot of uh, terminologies that we have, like fancy words we use that holds a specific meaning, uh, are usually from Latin or. Yeah, it's usually from Latin, and it's because back uh, back then, Latin was thought to be the fancier terms. They they they, they saw them as fancy words. They saw them as more uh, prestigious words, so they took them. They used them simply because they thought it was more prestigious. Did did they know what they mean in English? Maybe, or maybe not. It didn't matter. It really didn't matter. They just thought, hey, this this is a good this is a great looking word, prestigious and all that. Let's use it. And that's how we started using those words. That's pretty much the history of that. So, <laughs> it's not a common, it's not a new thing to occur in language by any stretch of the imagination. Just want to throw that out there. So, I mean, that's also why language is a constantly evolving uh, thing. It's great. It's, it's a great thing. Indeed. All right, let's go. A false cognate here. El grado. A false cognate. Maybe. I have as a definition here degree. Is that right? El grado. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I call it a false. Uh, Cognate because El gr grado looks like the word grade in English, but it means degree. 
not great. <sighs> okay. This next one, I'm not even going to try pronouncing until you tell me how you pronounce this word, because uh, it's a bit of a long one. Able to read that? Let's see, is that two R's? Yes. Let's see. La Hold on, let her focus, let her focus. Wait. Huh? Are you one in, son? <laughs> Hello? Uh. Hello? Okay, yeah, he's, nah, he's muted himself. Let's see. Okay, I think... Let's see. Alright, sorry about that, I got, uh... Got a phone call that was from the wrong number. So it's like... Ah, nice. Very nice. Those are always great for interruptions. Mm-hmm. So... Let's see, pronunciation. La herramienta. La... Herramienta? We pronounce the issue? Yeah. Yeah, herramienta. Okay. Herramienta, okay. And by def the definition I have here is tool. Yes. I'm just gonna Not lift. something you'll be using unless you work in construction. I see. It's a uh, word Most used. Most of the time. In construction. Yeah. Got it, got it. Cool, cool. Alright, just so everyone can see this, because it looks... I need, like, some sort of... Do I have anything to work with that I can elevate my text, my, my notebook here a little bit? I'm gonna grab, like, a ton of textbooks and see if I can just elevate my notebook a little bit here. Oh, boy. I... <sighs> okay, that... It's already way better in focus. <laughs> but here's an issue. I can't use the bottom half of my notebook like this. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> El Correro uh, Basura cannot be used for spam phone calls. It... Mm. Isn't that just trash mail? Yeah. I think um, El Correo, Co Correo is... Uh, Mail, right? Yep. Yeah. So, el correo means mail, basura is what means trash. Um... Spam phone calls. Hmm. How would you say spam phone calls? Huh. I don't think I've ever <laughs> heard a term for that. I see. Yeah, fair, fair. <clears throat> But who knows, there might be one, knowing how languages these yep, days. Yep, there's always going to be one, but whether or not we've heard it before, or know about it, that's that's uh, what researching is for, really. Mm -hmm. I'm like working with uh, like my desk. It's a uh, it's an old desk, so the back side of it's falling apart. <laughs> so as I'm moving around my text... Oh. As I'm moving around my textbooks, oh it's like, I have to like slowly make sure it's not just going to collapse on me. Uh, at while you're writing <laughs> on a physical notepad rather than a Word document or a notepad. Also, since I can't get so I assume this stream is being uh, elsewhere. Oh, um, if you look at the stream, I have chat, but maybe you're looking at a device that can't see chat, but essentially, uh, I'm reading off of... Uh, chat that's on stream and uh, I use restream so it's uh, both uh, Twitch and YouTube so Gambler Bear and Zenon are both from YouTube and uh, if your device can read the chat uh, then you should be able to see, see their messages too as for what I'm writing on the, uh, here it's because 
my textbook can't um textbook my keyboard don't have the uh, accents on them um and i'm not using a language specific keyboard uh that does i could download one and use that one but i feel like writing it out is better it's also practice for me um because i'm trying to learn spanish here as well and that's why i'm literally going through a textbook here that i've got so uh, it's one that's one of the techniques with learning languages it's not just reading and repeating listening and repeating also writing it out is another form of memorization <laughs> hello youtube people i'll be there in a bit in a sec okay okay yeah so okay. uh that's one of the things about languages that i've learned uh, growing up is that it's not good enough to just do one or two things it's you gotta do everything if you want to really learn it. So, say it, uh, say it, hear it, write it, and just use it. Really, the more you use, the more you'll get to uh, ingrain it within your within your head. This. Los. This is. Media. Let me see if I can throw this up a little bit. At the bottom there. Los Media? Los Media? I have Media mm. as the uh, translation. Yes. Okay. I think that my favorite thing about language is that the more I use a word in English, the less it sounds like a word to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that an O or an A? It's an A, media. Oh, because uh, oh wait, I in, see in, in, it's in Spanish. It's los medi medios. I, I even wrote oh. that wrong. I, I wrote that wrong. Bruh. There we go. Gotta be consistent. Uh, yeah, media like social media, media. Medios. Hello, the true DV on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey! Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Wildcats. All right. Glad to have another subscriber. Great. Very nice. Uh. Okay. So los medios. Los Medios. Los Medios. And it means media. Okay. Uh, El. <laughs> uh, the true DB. I mean, the, the icons are pretty small, so it would take people. Yeah, the, it's, it's pretty small. Unless you have, like, on a, on a monitor or something, you're not going to notice it. If, if at all. Like,. I have my 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 monitors are pretty big, so even then they're pretty small. <laughs> oh, gambler bear, please, we're we're not here to grade each other. We're here to learn. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm guessing this is pronounced as El Miembro. Let me see if I can bolt the letters here so you can see it mm. easier. Oops. Mm. Oh boy. And I believe you know the definition. Uh, I'm, uh, on the text it says member. Yes, a member. I'm a member, yes. Member. I have a pretty big one, I just assumed they were... The profile pictures. Oh no, I don't. Um, I don't, I don't have profile pictures shown. It's uh, it's not even a setting uh that's available on Restream. Restream. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, I can see. I, I I can definitely see those profile pictures if I'm doing like uh, YouTube chat specifically. Like, um, because like Twitch doesn't even have that uh, with their chat, which hopefully they never do. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
Yeah. Restream! Because uh, I had my friend make me an overlay, and um, he was talking about how uh, Restream chat is just so uh, restrictive. I was like, yeah, it's restrictive, but I use it because I can communicate both with Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So I, I like it, because it fits my needs. It's just not flexible. Alright, so next one, we're almost done. Other nouns here. Oh my goodness, every time I just... My blood here is barely out, I already snapped it. L... This is El Mensaje. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that. Oh, uh, El Mensaje, yeah. El Mensaje. And this is a uh, message. Like you sent a message in chat. That kind of message, yep. Alright. El. Muro. El Muro? Eh. This is El Muro. 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 I have wall as the definition here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty bare bones, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Would, would you say the walls of a house as El, like El Muro, like those kind of walls? If you're referring to one, El Muro, yeah. Okay. Um, I would assume in a social media context, it's like a forum wall then. I can't think of any other walls in social media. In, in social media, that's I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't. I, I can't. I can't really think of anything else. Like I'm. I'm thinking like. Because in English we say we, we call them forums or boards, not really walls. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, we have L. I don't. I don't know for this one. I don't. It means level in English, at least according to my textbook. Uh, is this readable? Is this a word you're familiar with? <laughs> El nivel, yeah. <laughs> El nivel? Very familiar. Okay. Yeah, nivel. El nivel. Level. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's like a level of a game. You use this. E yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, don't worry, Zenon. Class will be over soon. Mandar el mensaje. To send a message. Okay. Yes. Nice. Gambler Bear already combining different vocabulary words together. La... But I think you have to use something if something else if you're gonna use mandar. Generally, you conjugate that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, this is like bare bones basic stuff. We're not dealing with conjugations yeah. just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Like, it's it's voy, the... <laughs> voy a mandar el mensaje. I'm going to send a message. Yeah. That it meant to send the message, which is kind of like, huh? Uh, yeah, it's definitely not something you'll use uh, normally, but for like, if when you're learning a language, it's like you're just starting out, so it's I think it's fine. It's like uh, when you start out uh, in, in any language when you don't know how to use uh, conjugations or anything, you just kind of start doing it yourself and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I, I mean, it's it's better than. Uh... Than Karen's trying to speak Spanish. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Yeah. All right. 
right, so I have here, this is a home page. La Pagina de Inicio? How would you pronounce this? El Pagina de... Wait, uh, hold on. <sighs> Still too early. La Pagina de Inicio. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Inicio. Yeah. La Pagina de Inicio. It's a homepage. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Okay. I was like processing <laughs> some of those as L, so I was like confused. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Alright, I'll try to write uh, a bit better here. La. Uh, uh, uh. La pareja? Hold on, it's still loading. Oh, la pareja, yeah, yeah. Okay, la pareja, partner or couple. Yeah. Okay. Or pair. Pair. Doesn't necessarily have to be like partner. Couple, you know what I mean. You pair. know. Yeah, it, like uh, pair up in groups, essentially. That kind of pair. Mm -hmm. Like, I think partners are accurate. Yeah. Okay. So predominantly, just partners, like, like the like yeah. the English saying partners in crime, essentially. Mm -hmm. That kind of yeah, that kind of part is okay. Um, we're all, yeah. we have another four nouns here. So I'm gonna go over the four nouns and then uh, we'll practice pronunciation one more time, and that'll be it for today. Yes, sir. Okay, let's make sure I have the page set correctly. What we're gonna what else were we gonna say about partners or la pareja? Uh, so I was going to say that. If it's usually just like a, a pair of, you know, like a male and a woman, mm -hmm. then they usually mean the term as a couple. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's really good to know. Right, next word is L. Oops. El per oh, my lead, please don't break like that. Oof. El per oh my goodness. Perfil? Perfil, yeah. Perfil? Uh, I have this set to, or translate as profile. profile. Okay. Yeah. This is your profile. Cool. All right. Interesting. All right. Tell me how accurate this is then. This one's interesting, at least in my opinion. We have la red or la red. One's in capitals and one's not. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you don't know? La red. La, la red. red. What? Uh, here I have network. Or internet. That's really strange. Well, then again, we don't. We usually don't call it anything other than internet. Right. So nowadays, it's easier to just say internet or network. Yeah. 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 I. La red. I. I've never seen that used ever. Okay. And I'll just put these in like a squiggly bracket yeah. here. This to... is some uh, disseminate levels of. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It, I think it just happens to be like um, probably really old terminologies they they set back uh, back several years that uh, doesn't really translate well these days. Yeah, like back in the nineties or something. Probably. Uh, I I can definitely see that being used for back in the nineties. Mm -hmm. It's like um. I think. Uh, 
Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> All right. Um. <laughs> What's your favorite color, Timmy? Internet. <laughs> uh. I don't know how many people know about this. It's a Canadian thing, but the the uh, the oldest way you can say the word couch, like the couch you sit on, in Canada, mm. the oldest term we have is called Chesterfield. Huh? We would used to say way back in the day to refer to a couch. We 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 called them Chesterfields. 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 That's what couches are known as in Canada. Oh, that's... I don't think you'll meet a Canadian these days that knows uh, what Chesterfields are, but perhaps perhaps their grandfather would know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, yeah, that's oh, yeah. that's just kind of how old that word is. Um, but that is uh, I can I can see uh, La Red. Uh, being similar, not as old, but similar in that vein where it's just no longer used. I also <laughs> sleep on a Chesterfield. <laughs> 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 it's actually really funny because uh, I didn't grow up with that word, and because my family didn't originate from Canada, we we immigrated here. Um, mm -hmm. I say we as in my family, not me. I grew, I, I was born in Canada, so I'm fully fledged Canadian. But yeah. Uh, because of, the, of that, I've never grown up with a knowledge of the word Chesterfield. I just learned about it back in school. But yeah, um, I think it has to do with, um, I think Chesterfield was the original couch brand in Canada. Oh, Chesterfield. Okay. Chesterfield. That would make sense. I think. Uh... And yeah, that's probably the case, Gambler Bear. It originates in England, where such seats are believed to have originally been named for a former Earl of Chesterfield, an Anglo-Saxon noble. Ah, so it's an English term. Ah, that makes sense, considering that Canada was uh, colonized by the British. We just kind of... Mm. Even though we have our own independence, uh, we still have a lot of uh, history with England and the crown. The queen is still on our dollar bill, so... We still have the connection there with the queen. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, there's a little history there for you. It, makes, it actually makes historical sense, I guess. Alright. That's uh, a good question. Uh, when was the textbook made or published? Uh, this textbook? Let's see. I should have it at the beginning of the textbook here. Is it beginning or is it at the end of the textbook? Uh, this is the, this is book? this is the fifth edition of the textbook, so it's definitely going to be newer. Uh, year the date should be here. Copyright. The earliest is two thousand and two. Uh, this was two thousand and two. This 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 current version is from twenty fourteen for copyright material. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't see any other dates on here for the fifth edition of this book. Yeah, but uh, it has terminologies dating back to uh, uh, 2002 being the latest version. So. Uh... Yeah. So it's a little bit older. A little bit. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, back in 2002, uh, I think people still were, were slowly getting out of dial-up, <laughs> so... <laughs> hmm. All right. Oh boy. L, so next word, second last vocab words for today, L... E... S... El Riesgo, right? Or how would you pronounce that? El Riesgo, El Riesgo, yeah. El Riesgo, okay. And this I have here as translates to risk. Mm. Any other translations? El Riesgo. I guess. 
I guess. So I'm guessing this is also not frequently used either. Yeah, not frequently used. Alright. How would you say risk in Spanish then? Risk? Well, I guess, yeah, it's used in like, in, like Spanish movies and all that, but like, in real life, <laughs> there's not not uh, much use for that word. Yeah, not, risk in general isn't really used much in English either. Yeah. Generally, we we try to avoid having risk. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's that's the correct definition. Okay. Cool. Cool. Saying. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. El la. Oops. I already spelled that wrong. Oh no. La USA. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have uh, L or La, Usario or Usaria for user. Did I get that right? <laughs> yes. El Usario. El Usario, La Usaria. Yeah, if, <clears throat> you know, if you're going with the feminine masculine thing, but everybody just uses El Usario. Mm. Makes sense. I think, um, just know that they that um both exist is, is good enough yeah I, 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 that's the thing about language too uh some people might call it sexist and historically it very much is and that comes from the fact that historically uh a lot of uh uh academical stuff was very much male dominant back in the day yeah so it, that's just how history was History was not kind to females, not kind at all. So um, that's just kind of that's just kind of how, how how it was, unfortunately. And we're slowly trying to change that nowadays. But um, I learned Still there. I learned there was a movement by uh, feminists in Spain to try to um, reclassify the like change the. Uh, El, El La system in in Spanish in Spain. There was a movement for that for a little bit, and that got shut down by but it almost instantly <laughs> by everyone. <laughs> yeah, so Is I it? don't think everybody's gonna change their language for that. Yeah, they were trying to change the whole language because of of this whole argument, and it's like that's not it's not gonna happen. Uh, changing language, not change, so yeah. Not something that's easily done, yeah. Not easily done, and language in general changes over a course of periods of time. I mean, with internet, language changes much more frequently because of how easy it is to access other languages, but back in the day, it took generations to change the language. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's uh, quickly go over pronunciations of our nouns, and then we'll call it there for the stream. We've been almost going for two hours, so don't want to take up any more time. <laughs> Uh, so first word is uh, not used because they kind of stopped existing for a while now. But El Buzon, Buzon, El Buzon. Yeah, El Buzon. Uh, El, Buzon. El Buzon. A mailbox, not something uh, you'll see often anymore for a lot of people. But they do exist. They're not ancient history just yet. Um. <laughs> next, la contraseña. La contraseña. Yes, oh. correct. I missed one. I missed circle. El cir... Yeah. Is it cir... Culo? culo? El circulo? Circulo, yes. El circulo. Okay, el circulo. El circulo. Uh-huh. And then la contraseña for password. El correo basura. So, spam or junk mail. Mm -hmm. uh, for people, just to remember... El correo, correo is mail, and then basura is the junk part, or trash. So trash mail, junk mail. 
that's where that word or phrase comes from. And then uh, La Cuenta account. Yep. Okay. Uh, the rarely used link. Even in English, we rarely use the physical link unless we mean like a chain link. Um, mm -hmm. El Enlace. Yes. Okay, El Enlace. That's, yep, yeah, right there. Uh, next we have El uh, Familiar. Familia. E. Yep. yep. El Familiar, family member. Uh, as far as I'm aware, you'll probably only see this in like the context of maybe Steam. I don't really think of any other social media family uh, family member stuff. But calling each other El Familiar, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not. Um, El Grado degree, and is this mm. considering it's a noun? Is this degree as in like how we use it in English as well? So it holds the meaning of like degree degrees for temperature, or is it like degree for like a school degree? Can be used for both. It can be, so it's it's used in the same context as then. Yes. Okay. So the the El Grado degree used in the same context in both languages. That's good to know. That's good to know. Uh, link is used often referring to web links. Oh, the true DV is yeah. telling us some more, some more, some more definitions here. Web links. Okay, I haven't actually thought about that. Web links. Oh, I thought. <laughs> I thought you knew. <laughs> no, I, I that s escaped my mind because I um I guess I don't. I guess I use the word link enough. Uh, uh like here's a, a link to my Discord or here's a link to my Twitter. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, it's definitely one of those things where it just escaped my mind. I guess. Um, I had there's really not much of an excuse I can say besides the fact that it just kind of went over my head. Understand. That happens. Uh, okay. Alright, so where were we? We were. We just went to degree at la herra, herramienta. La herramienta yeah. tool. La herramienta. La herramienta tool, and you told me it's used specifically more in construction, but I'm guessing you could, could, you could technically also use this for like uh, tools for web designing, like if you use Photoshop or stuff like that. Uh, I would say more physical more physical okay yeah more physical tools okay oh so in last days is used to replace a url i find that interesting considering url is shorter but maybe people have an easier time typing out in last day then mm, that's interesting hmm I, yeah i find that interesting it's interesting when people use something longer to replace something shorter because generally, it's the opposite way way around. I mean, I guess it would confuse people if they're like, pon, pon, pon el URL? <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I guess consistency also matters there. Alright. Uh, and then we have Los uh, Medios, the media. It could be any media. Uh, visual media, so like a, a video, audio media, mp3 files, that kind of media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, El Miembro. Did I say that right? Yep. Miembro. El Miembro. Oh yeah, member. Uh, next we have uh, El Mensaje. Um, a message. A message. Yep. Mm -hmm. El mi Mensaje. Then we have El Muro. Yes. Uh wall just a wall <laughs> in, in, in your house <laughs> i don't know uh, like here is the url to my twitch isn't something you'd say uh as you said you'd say here is the link right. ah okay okay in in when when, when you spell when you exemplify in, exemplify it like that it does make a lot of sense it's i guess i treat it more like something because I use it so frequently, I just stopped thinking about it. So I think that's why once I started thinking about it, I got confused. <clears throat> it's like a uh, grammar of your first language. You don't think about it, you just know it. Um, all right, uh, and then El Nivel, Nivel, El Nivel, <laughs> El Nivel, uh -huh. El Nivel, okay, El Nivel, uh, level. La Pagina de Inicio. 
Yes. Yes, el página de inicio. Uh -huh. So. Página de inicio. The inicio, uh, like la página, it means page, right? The page. Yeah. And then the inicio. Uh, does, what does inicio here mean? Does it doesn't mean home, does it? In inicio is like start, starting up. Oh, or so the startup. Yeah, the startup page. Okay, home page. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Cool. Cool. Hey, hey, hey! 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 Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, Alright. <laughs> La pareja. La pareja. La pareja, uh huh. La pareja, okay. So, the partner, couple, pair. Uh, and then. El perfil. Oh, el perfil? El perfil? El perfil. Her profile. El, mm -hmm. el, el. I feel like I'm saying it wrong still. El perfil? Perfil, uh-huh. Per, perfil, el perfil. Yes, el perfil. Hmm. I think it might be... I, I think I'm saying it... I think what the only issue I'm having with saying perfil is I think putting too much uh, emphasis on the P. So it's causing me to lose too much air while I'm saying the word. El perfil. Yeah, that sounds a little better. El perfil. El perfil. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just need to say that a couple more times. Yeah, because uh, in linguistics, uh, the P is what we, what's known as a plosive, so a stop. I'm using too much uh, air when I'm trying to say p el perfil. There we go. And then we have, uh, this is ancient ancient history, la red. <laughs> <laughs> la red. La red. This this is ancient ancient history. Uh, we, we're not going to use that anymore. Uh, it's... Uh, Pretty funny to look at though. La red, whether it be capital or not capital, uh, which used to mean internet or or network. Uh, so I guess I guess you can use this as like one of those like random uh, facts, you know? Oh, like back in the day, uh, back back in like the, uh, early two thousands or the nineteen nineties, uh, la red in Spanish was a network for or, or internet. La red, <laughs> and your friends would <laughs> give you that look, be like, "Are you on something?" <laughs> and then we have uh, El uh, Ries Riesco, Riesco, El Riesco, for, yeah, for Risk. Um, what's is is the game Risk just just called Risk in Spanish? Wait, uh, repeat that? Is the game Risk, the board game, is that just Risk in Spanish? I actually don't know. That's a good question. Because I know Risk is a board game too. Like, the, like there's a board game called Risk. I, I'm just curious, if, did they localize the name in, a, in Spanish or not? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you've been talking to the wall again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, hey, it's it's not that bad when you think about it because like uh learning languages and uh even acting, we talk to mirror a lot, talking to ourselves, seeing us talk. Uh which I don't think people do these days, but uh still try. Talking to the mirror is actually uh, a thing you can do to to practice uh communication skills. Uh why? You'll know when you do it. Hopefully, mm -hmm. but you should know when you when you do it, you'll understand when you start talking to the mirror. How about the <laughs> card game Uno? Do you just say one? I see. I see where you're coming from, Zeno. I see where you're coming from. Uh, and then finally, our last vocab noun: uh, El Usario or Ella Usaria. Generally, El Usario uh, for user, mm -hmm. and that's. All the vocab. We actually went through a lot of vocab. We went through, uh, this is four, eight, technically 11, but okay. kind of like 10 verbs. And then we have another, uh, uh, 16, 20, 20 nouns, 10 verbs, 20 nouns. So about 30 words in Spanish. And we spend about two hours. So 
It's actually not that bad, especially since uh, we went through like different meanings or some short interruptions here and there, but I hope everyone learned something new today. I know I did. I learned a lot of new things. Uh, even in English. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I learned, I learned a new English word in Spanish class. How funny is that? <laughs> um, um, so... Hopefully, uh... YouTube Kun doesn't pick up on disseminating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! No, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I, that, I'm not adding that to my vocabulary. That's not. That's not going in there. That's just. That's going to words I know exists, but I'm never using in my life. Oh my. God. <laughs> but anyways, I. Hugh, thank you so much for showing up today. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I, I greatly appreciate it. No problem. Uh, so, uh, perhaps we can step up uh, same time next week as well? Yeah, I guess. Alright, perfect. Um, I'm going to be working on doing a schedule for this coming week uh, for my streams, so everyone can look forward to that. Um... And thank you, uh, the True DV for showing up on tw on Twitch. Yami Sensei, uh, Senpai of Crime, and on YouTube we have Zenon and Gambler Bear. Thank you so much, everyone, for showing up. Uh, Shouts to all of you, everyone who has shown up today. It's been a fun two hours, very productive. We didn't we we didn't cover a lot material wise. We covered a lot in understanding and pronunciation. So I'm very thankful for that. So. This is where I'm going to uh, uh, leave and end stream, so goodbye everyone, and I uh, hope everyone has a wonderful day. So.